Midjourney just announced a new update and this could replace Photoshop. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details. So they're calling this feature very region and essentially it'll showcase right here how to utilize this in addition to some tips and tricks. And don't worry, you don't have to read any of this stuff. I'll show you step by step exactly how to set this up so you can go ahead and start utilizing this in your own AI images. Now, if you're brand new to mid journey, don't worry. I will make a new video showcasing everything you need to know. So feel free to subscribe for that. But let's go over and hop over to the image creation now so you can see how amazing this new update is. So here I am on Discord and this is the mid journey chat. And essentially what you need to do first off is navigate to your settings and then make sure you have a few of these options checked. So all you need to do is type in the forward slash and you could simply click on the word settings or you could type it in yourself. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and simply press enter. Now it's gonna showcase some options. Now, the first thing is make sure you do have the latest model, which at the time of this is 5.2 and that should be able to utilize this new update. The next thing is you need to have this remix mode checked and that is going to allow us to add in custom prompts and utilize this new feature. And for the rest of these, I mean, you can play around with them, but it just really depends on your plan that you currently have, as well as the type of images you're trying to create. And now simply go ahead and test out a image. So let's go ahead and just type in slash imagine. And for the prompts, let's just do something like, at least I'll think of something quite AI, something that's not realistic, so I'll say, robot giant dinosaur and let's say running in the city and i'm going to use the landscape view so essentially dash dash ar and then you would do a space and put 16 colon 9. and the reason i'm using the 16 by 9 ratio is just simply it gives us more surface on an image to go ahead and edit and it just makes it easier for you to add customizations. But again, it really just depends on your preference. So here you can see our AI image from that prompt. And depending on the image, they all pretty much look quite similar. I think the bottom left corner, I'm gonna stick with that image. So let me just go ahead and choose this one real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that and then I'll show you exactly how this new feature works. So here is the image and now we notice we have this very region. Now one very important thing to note, either one, you're not gonna see this option or two, you see it, but when you click on the image, nothing happens. If that's the case, all you need to do is simply open up Discord on another tab or essentially you just close out your browser and restart it. And after you reset Discord or pretty much just open a new tab, you will be able to utilize this new feature. And now I'll click on very region and you'll see the magic on how this update works. So this is where the new update comes in, where you can go ahead and choose a particular part of the image and then pretty much change it around. So first off, we have this rectangle or square, I should say. And if I were just click and drag, you can see I highlight the dinosaur's face. And if you do not like the highlighted area, you can go back and click on undo. Also, they have this option here, which you ever use Photoshop, it's a very similar tool or any photo editor. And basically what this allows you to do is drag exactly the parts that you want. And in my opinion, I think it looks actually better. And you can see it actually updates. Now, here is the remix mode part coming in right here. So for the face, ideally in the update, it says to change it to something that is similar to the image. But this is the AI game. Let's do something crazy and let's put on some random person's face. So let's just do, hmm, I'm trying to think maybe I can put a completely different animal. I could say even a human. Let's just say something, uh, let's just do a different animal for now just to see how it works. And let's just say cute. And let's do teddy bear face. And let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens. And this is the current result. And honestly, it looks nothing like what I was expecting. However, we can see there is like some slight, looks like a bear's nose. Now, I think I know a way to fix this. And the reason is because I utilized the drag. So let me actually 
show you an alternative that we can try out with the exact same prompt and see if it comes out with a different result. So I'm back on the original image. I'm gonna hit undo. This time I'm gonna use the rectangle and I'm going to click and drag here. And now let's try this again. And as you can see, this resulted in a significantly better image with these two on the right looking pretty much as if a dinosaur bear's face. This one actually looks pretty natural here. This one maybe looks like kind of like a more fusion thing and this one doesn't really have any eyes. But this particular image, I could technically work with this one. So I'm actually gonna utilize this image and we're gonna continue to see what is possible with this feature. And as you can see, the actual drawing image parts, the lasso tool, it seems to be not as accurate. I think mainly because it's a randomized part of the selection and the AI might not be exactly understanding where to start it, but some of you might have better success depending on the complexity of the image. But for this particular image, it is definitely, I'd say something much more difficult to edit at least. So let's try this. Let's try to do something that's not the main parts like this car in the background. So I'll highlight it right here. And let's just say luxury, let's say luxury sports car, expensive. I'm not gonna specify any brands, but let's see what happens with this version. And now we can see it has updated the image. And what's actually kind of cool is it moved the tail of the dinosaur creature and it replaced it with some completely different car. Now, the bottom left maybe is the only image I think that looks somewhat kind of like a sports car in the distance. But either way, you can see the concept. It literally replaced a yellow taxi cab with a completely different car. And it kept 99% of the image the same. Some images, obviously the tail has changed completely, but that obviously was in the way. And you can see here how crazy this is going to be once they make more updates, because now, instead of you having to go to Photoshop, go in here, crop, take it out, add another image, which actually Photoshop's Adobe Firefly, has a very similar feature which they announced months before. It looks like Midjourney already has that. So let's do actually something significantly easier to edit. So I'll pick another prompt that's much more simple and pretty much try this again. So here's another image I decided to generate and actually it looks pretty complex, not gonna lie, but this bottom right has a particular thing that I wanna test out this new update with to show you the power of Midjourney's new feature. So let's go ahead and pick this image right here and try out some more details. So again, we're doing the vary by region option and I wanna select this hot air balloon right here. And ideally, I would like to replace this with a flying dragon. So let's just say flying dragon. And this can look like some sort of medieval sort of dragon scene and boom let's hit enter and see the magic and here you can see this is a significantly better result of what i was trying to utilize this for and it makes the entire image minus the hot air balloon parts look pretty much exact the difference now is we have this dragon here now obviously you can go ahead and retrag this over again change that up to whatever prompt you want but as you can see, this is just the newest, latest feature in Midjourney 5.2. And this is why I was commenting earlier in the video about why I could end Photoshop and essentially replace that tool because Photoshop at this point is the only thing missing is the ability to edit exactly a parts on the image. The fact now that Midjourney has this feature Adobe Firefly as one of the other competing AI image generators out there. It pretty much can do almost anything that Adobe, at least Photoshop can do, minus obviously some additional things such as color corrections and things of that nature. But for just pure simplistic AI image design, it can pretty much do what it needs to do. And then who knows from the later updates, but this was a quick introduction to the latest mid journey video regarding their updates with the very region. So if you wanna see more AI tutorials, news updates, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.